GCSE English Literature, Journey's End, The Context. Hello everyone, it's GCSE Revision here, and today we're starting a new series of videos to do with Journey's End, which is an exam text that everyone will be studying at um, the English Literature course for GCSE, and today we're going to begin looking at the context of the play. Now the play is approximately about 100 pages long, and it is about the well is about World War One and the men who lived there in the trenches. It over, it lasts for about three days the play, and it all leads up to one big anticipated attack. And prior to that, all the occurrences in the novel are the things we're going to be studying in this um, series. So today we'll start with the context. Learning objectives. Today you will know that. Um, you will have an understanding of R.C. Sheriff's history in the war, R.C. Sheriff being the author, and you will know some of the main occurrences prevalent to this play of the 1910s about the author. Sheriff wrote Journey's End in 1928. This was 10 years after the end of World War One. Now, Robert, Sher Robert Sheriff was born in 1896 to a middle-class family who lived in a village close to London. He went to Kingsington Grammar School and in 1914 left and began to work as an insurance clerk. On August 12th that same year, Britain then declared war on Germany and that's when the First World War began. In 1915, Sheriff vo volunteered as a new recruit and by 1918 he had risen to the rank of captain. He almost died however in 1970 and was severely injured in a terrible battle um, in southern Belgium. He spent over a month's time in hospital before returning to the front once more. Sheriff's Audience Sheriff wrote Journey's End in 1928. This was 10 years after the end of World War I. Now his audience all had something to do with the war, so they would have known someone who had been affected, or they may have been affected themselves. So everyone had a un working understanding of what the war was like. In the time of the 1910s, Britain had been a much more confident and powerful nation, so therefore not many people questioned the morality of the war or the ability of the country's leaders making decisions of what to do in wartime. This way, it provided a different aspect to all that was known of, seeing as Sheriff's play concentrates on the, not on the worst aspects of war and how it can affect the soldiers there. Seeing as he was a soldier in wartime, he had first time experience of everything that went around him. Now, fear was a prevalent theme in the novel. The play is based on how men deal with extreme fear. All characters deal with fear in their own ways, as you'll see. Such as Stanhope, who is one of the company's leaders, I believe he's the commander, he drinks away his troubles as he was once scared in a battle he was in. And from that day forth, he began drinking whiskey in order to um, sort of, I wouldn't say forget about it, but it's something you'll understand later in the book as we move along with it. Hibbert, who is a officer in the company, is, has so much fear himself that he tries to fake an in, fake a injury or a, or a disease. He says he has neuralgia in order to try and get away and be sent home. And a lot of characters have to deal with them with their own ways. However, seeing they do all have to deal with a, with this extreme fear, it works as a way to bring all men together. At times, they'll find themselves speaking of um, back home or, say, at breakfast time and about food in order to try and avoid talking of the sort of the war machine itself and how horrible it is. Now, thanks for watching the video, this is the end, and next time we're going to be looking at the plot and Act 1. So if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and then that way you'll be able to see great more videos for a lot more GCSE topics. So, chances are, there's going to be more than 5 GCSE topics on this channel, which you can then watch and revise upon. So, subscribe for more, great more videos. Right, thank you, and goodbye.